is to your client. The next question that I would like to ask, or that perhaps that comes after this, is why time recording? And by way of introduction to this second page of this question, I'd like to go back to the remarks that John made. Every time a team from Huddersfield has come in here into Uganda, they have reminded us time and time again that our stock in trade as well as is our time. Unlike the trader on Market Street, who probably has merchandise, you know, physical merchandise, in this case it's sweets. We have got what we call intellectual stock. And it's important for us to realize that that is what we sell. It's also important to realize that <coughs> even though our stock is different, we are really not different from the traders on the street because we are in it or in the business to make money. Those of us who are this way in the private, in private practice. Because if you can't make money, right, you have no business being in the business, as the Americans say. I'm going to give you, and I'm going to share you a bit of some experiences, particularly with um, my law firm, our law firm. There was a time when we were extremely busy, clients were rolling in. We were raising the females. But, and the files were actually piling up. The cabinets were busting to the scenes. We were, buying, we were buying cabinet after cabinet almost every, every six months. Okay. Uh, it was not uncommon to walk into the office and kind of like feel overwhelmed with so many files on your desks. And yet, at the end of the quarter, the landlord would be coming, that's for the office. Come to knock on the door and say, you know what, guys, it's time to pay rent. And look at your bank account and they're saying, damn, sorry, sorry for my friend. I say, damn, I only have 50% of the rent. And at the same time, um, about the same time, you know, you put um, salary owing and due to your employees. And then at the same time, you've got the supplier of um, whatever it is also coming in and saying, you know what, your invoice or, or the paper that you supplied or the cartridge that you supplied for the printer, you know, is long overdue by three months. And suddenly you look at the amount of money that is owing. It's so overwhelming. And ever to die, sat down and said, you know, something is wrong here. We must, there's a lot of, I mean, the clients are there, the money seems is actually coming in. You look at the accounts, yes, it's coming in and going out. Yes, we're making money. But why is it that we are behind? And, this, and the answer is very simple. We are actually making losses. I'm sure this is a story that is very familiar. 